Hi there, welcome to my channel, welcome to my Agrum tutorial series, and in this video we're gonna start learning a new version of Agrum library. There is a great documentation about Agrum, the third version. You can see this by the provided link. You can also find this link at the description section below. There is lots of contents here. You can find anything you want. I will walk through all these things during this playlist. And we're gonna take a look at the most important things you should know about building your own Telegram boats. So firstly, you have to follow the same steps as you probably went for the second version of our Agrum library. Firstly, you just need to find boat father. Here you can create and manage your existing boats. All you have to do is type this username in Telegram search tab. After this, you can create new boat here. A Telegram boat is just a Telegram account that you can manage, edit and configure. I'm not going to create a new boat because I have an existing one. Once you've created a new boat, you're going to get this kind of token that you can use so as to connect to your Telegram boat. We're going to copy this token and use it in our program. And here I will create a new file. This file is going to be called like tokenapi.py. You'll be able to find all the lessons in my GitHub repository and I will leave the link in the description section below. Once we've created this file, we need to declare a new variable. I'm going to declare this variable in an upper case, like a constant. After this, I will create a new folder. I will call this folder like, for example, lesson one. And here I will create a new file. This file will contain all the information about our boat. I will call this file like boat.py. All right, so the next thing we have to do is open the terminal. You need to install and activate virtual environment. You probably should put Python 3 instead of just Python. If you are using Windows, you have to type Python. If you have a Mac OS, you have to use Python 3 dash module, the name of our virtual environment library. In our case, this is going to be just Venv at the name of our virtual environment. Once we did this, we have a common folder. This is named like Venv. Here we have a lot of stuff. For example, we have here bin. The lib folder contains all the site packages that we're going to use in our projects. This folder is common because we're going to have the same virtual environment for all our video lessons. Once we've installed our virtual environment, we of course should activate this environment. So as to activate our environment, we have to type the following thing. Source van being activate. After completing this step, you see Venf name is shown. After this, we should install Agrum library on our computer and inside our virtual environment. To do this, we just need to use Python package manager. I'm going to type here pip install Agrum and pre-release version. Once we've done this, and if we type here pip freeze, we're going to notice here Agrum with version 3.0.0 beta 7. Firstly, let's import all the necessary things we are going to use during our development. We should import from Agrum library. As you can notice, our library is not resolved. The reason is because we probably did not reload our window. We can make this right just by reloading the window. We just need to press shift command plus P and choose here reload window. Once you've reloaded the window, your Agrum library is recognized properly. After this, I'm going to import types module, dispatcher class, and bot class for our project. Now let's import from token API our authorization token. Now let's create boat instance and dispatcher class instance. Here we should pass through our authorization token. Now let's create a synchronous function that will be entry point to our program that will start the execution of our boat. This is just annotation. This is kind of documentation of our code. You don't have to worry about it right now. We're going to use our dispatcher object and use here the method that's called start pulling. 
start the polling process. Polling process is when your Agrum dispatcher is constantly polling your Telegram API if it has some kind of new updates from users. Once the user sent a message, Telegram API generates a special update object and send it through HTTP protocol. This update object will be processed and handled by our ARM library and handlers that we're going to implement in the next videos. Here we should pass through our boat instance. Let's write here boat instance. Our ARM library is asynchronous and for this reason we have to use here a wet keyword. Now all we have to do is just use here if name equals main idem use here a sincere run method. We haven't imported this library, so we need to import this library before. Let's import it. Import a sincere library here. And just invoke method run. Now let's pass through our main coroutine. This is called coroutine because this is a synchronous function and the invocation of our asynchronous function results in coroutine object. You can search about it in Python documentation if you need more specific information about it. We have to use if name equals main at most our Agrum programs. This is typical of Agrum library. All right, so once we've done all these steps, we could open our terminal and right here Python, I'm sorry, firstly we need to change the directory to our lesson one. And here we can use Python interpreter and just type here boat.py. You won't see any messages here because, oops, it can find our module named token API. Of course, let's replace our token API to our, to our lesson one folder. We don't see any messages and that's perfectly okay because our Agrum library doesn't show any messages at first. That means we configured everything properly and everything works fine. If we open our telegram boat and type here a start command, we don't see anything at all. That's perfectly okay. This happens because we don't have any handlers specified that will handle our updates from telegram API and produce any results. We're going to implement our first handlers in the next videos. You should remember that we're going to use this kind of idem, main function entry point, and boat and dispatcher objects during our development. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.